It's Thursday on Melrose Mountain, Tryon, North Carolina. Higher ground is the name of our place. And uh, we woke up to fog where we couldn't see across the lake. Windy, a uh, little light rain. And now it is beautiful blue skies, but still very windy. And uh, 61 to 62 degrees. Uh, tomorrow, another cold front is supposed to push through, and uh, temperatures are not supposed to get above much above about 50 to 5 degrees. Uh, so it's going to cool down some, maybe even cooler than that. They're not quite sure. Heard a funny line the other day that's very true as I live up here in Tryon and uh, attend church in Landrum. Uh, in a small town, if you don't know what you're doing, someone else does. <laughs> and that's usually the case. In a small community, everybody knows everybody and everybody knows everybody's business. Uh, it's a funny scenario, but it is absolutely true. Now, many of you may be studying Hebrews in your Sunday school classes, which was written around 64 to 68 AD. Uh, interesting three-part outline. Chapters 1 through 4 is the person, that is the uh, person of Christ. 5 through 10 is the priesthood of Christ. And chapters 10 through 13 is the principles of uh, if you uh, look at chapter 13, uh, we talk about running a race and the motivation for running a, a race is the witnesses that are watching us. The example, of course, for running the race is Jesus. And the warning is don't take grace for granted. Let me say that again for you. Don't take grace for granted. Finally, I want to share with you today a very, very important lesson on three ways to love. You can love socially, you can love spiritually, and you can love sacrificially. If you were making an outline from this, you could take chapter 13, verses 1 through 6 as socially, verses 7 through 14 spiritually, and verses 15 through 25 sacrificially. Socially, we show our love by hospitality and loving our brothers. That was, after all, Christ's answer to what is the great commandment. It wasn't one, but two, to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul, but to love your neighbor as yourself. So hospitality and loving our brethren is one of the wonderful ways that we can love socially. We can love socially if we're married by our fidelity to one another by our truthfulness, by our integrity, and by our constant commitment to our mate. That's found in 13 verse 4. If you look at uh, the social ways that we can love in chapter 13 verse 5, it's in our character uh, to be content with what we have, to learn to live in a, a very easy way, not always looking for greed and material things, but to be content with such as we have. Finally, as we look at the way to love spiritually, in verse 7, we find that uh, we are to uh, love spiritually by using Jesus as our motivation and his example. We are to love spiritually because of the Word of God and those that shared the Word of God with us, that is, our mentors, as well as uh, the Word of God being Jesus himself and studying his scriptures. In verse 8, it's uh, to remind us to love because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Look how many things change, but Jesus never changes, and his Word never changes. And we're to always test unsound doctrine. We're always to test doctrine. Verse 9, uh, it's very important today with all of the political pressure, all of the political correctness, to realize the word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. No, our cultural setting doesn't change what God said is right and what is wrong. He did not change the moral, ethical, or standards of living. And we need to be careful not to revert back to the law, that is, thinking that we can get into heaven by works. That's particularly important when we look at the third way we love, which is sacrificially. In verse 18, the way that we worship or we love 
uh, sacrificially is to praise and give thanks. And we're coming up on Thanksgiving. That's important to remember that praise and thanksgiving is a sacrificial way uh, that we can love. Uh, we decided as a family up here uh, to serve others on Thanksgiving. We're going to go down to First Baptist Landrum who do a wonderful job of loving uh, sacrificially to others by taking their Thanksgiving day and serving others a meal delivering meals to those that are less fortunate or those that are shut in. Uh, but remember, works don't get you into heaven. Works are just an outward evidence of an inward change. And uh, we can love sacrificially by praising and giving thanksgiving and doing good works and showing others. Uh, and then finally, by obeying our leaders, whether it be pastor staff or whether it be uh, those that lead our country or our state, we're to obey them as long as it does not conflict with God's standards. And uh, by so doing, we love sacrificially, even though we may not agree with all of the decisions that they make. So we have three ways to love. Socially, by hospitality, in our marriage, and in our character. We have to love spiritually through loving Jesus' word and by those that have shared it with us and those that have mentored us. We need to be sure that we test unsound doctrine. And then finally, we need to love sacrificially by praise and thanksgiving and serving others. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.